Hi, you're back with us on the Stay Morning Show. I'm super excited here to have Jessica Allen right around I know, wow. Because We've I have looking known this. this product mm -hmm. for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. I go to Como Park a lot. Yes. And I see their product and I'm like, oh my God, these are so cool. <laughs> so Jessica, this is very interesting, right? This is beeswax food wraps. Yes. Mm. Pembungkus makanan lilin lebah. So what is the replacement of this in our usual? So this is a replacement of cling wrap or plastic wrap mm -hmm. that we usually use uh, to cover our food yes. and put it in the fridge usually right. or stay away from the flies, right? right exactly. <laughs> so uh, this is reusable and this is um, coating with beeswax. Yes. So how you use it, it's just the same like cling wrap. Uh -huh. It can mold to any surfaces. So oh, wow. if you have bowl right. um, or if you want to have, for example, kolang kaling, yeah? yes. <laughs> like Indonesian traditional um, Cemilan. <laughs> you can you can create your own pouch, right? By just pressing it. So oh, wow. this is sleek proof. So oh, you can yes. eat it on the street. Yes. Can you and touch that? Yes, and you can it's make your nice. own container as well. That like is so your amazing. Own oh, wow. Food container by just folding it. Just by and folding. And this is also can be reused again and yes, again. you can uh, wash it and mm. reuse it and mm. recode it. And so re recode it. Recode it. Oh. So it lasts forever. So you only wow. need to use baking paper and iron right. to recode it. Oh, so you let the beeswax nice. melt again. So you can do it at home. Yes, oh, that's okay. why we have a lot of free workshop to educate how right. to make this uh, beeswax food wrap. And then also you have this tempeh kit. Yes. Isn't uh -huh. that really interesting? Yeah, why I made this uh, tempeh kit because uh -huh. I noticed that a lot of the Soybean here yes. are GMO mm -hmm. and it's imported. Yeah. And this is local uh, soy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So include this, there's uh, black soy and white soy yes. and also the tempeh starter and the palape. So people can make their own tempeh ah. without using plastic. Wow. They can even use like jelly container. So the tempeh will We'll shape like, like bear, oh, shape like star. Oh so really, it's more fun it's for the kids to like eat that. It. Yes. This is them, very healthy. So, All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, these are like some of the wonderful products uh, that we have in Demi Bumi. Jessica, please do have a seat. We yes. will talk about Demi Bumi. So Demi Bumi, could you please explain in your own words what it is and how did it come about four years ago? Yes, so the Mibumi was started in November 2018. Mm -hmm. So we're almost four years now. Mm -hmm. And we started with net bag, uh, net bag. 2019 January. We sell net bag because like we see like a lot of people going to supermarket and buy fruits. They yes. buy, buy five different fruits. They have to use five different plastic. Oh gosh. Where really? else they can carry their own net bag yes. and then paste the price on the net bag itself. So by the time they are home, there's no waste yes. except the label itself. Except <laughs> the label itself. Yes. But that's paper, right? That's Usually paper coated with plastic, that's oh, why yeah. you have to separate it. So, oh, right. Yeah, sticker. Um, so there are different type of stickers as well, so mm. we have to know about that. Mm. But yes, um, we started with net bag. Uh, we like produced about a thousand net bag mm -hmm. in 2019. And at the end, we have already innovated about 200 products now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also do upcycling, so we upcycle from trash. Right. Like this one. Yes, what this is, is that? This is a uh, tasa peda. <laughs> Bi oh, right. <laughs> bicycle. Perfect. It's kind trending. Of pouch, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, why we made this? Because um, a lot of roller blind, office roller blind, mm, yes. are wasted. They cut uh, because uh, Indonesian doesn't follow international standard mm. uh, for the width of the window. Right. So a lot of waste mm. for the blind. Mm. So. Um, from the waist of the blind, we create a lot of different uh, pouches, um, straw pouch or grocery bag. And people still love it because the, the material itself is a very good quality. Mm. It's washable easily and it dry is. easily. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's a high quality product. Um, and there's yeah. actually a personal story behind why you found yes. the Demi Bumi, right? What happened um, at the time? I'm actually a designer, I'm a graphic designer, so I have my branding and packaging company with my husband, so almost 13 years already. Yes. And why I'm doing this, because I noticed that me, myself, have to change my own habit in my house. Like I have to, 
I have to learn by myself how to, how to live less ways. Right. Because at the end, if we never learn, we never know what to produce. Hmm. So I'm as a designer, I'm kind of like in between, uh, like in the bridge between consumer and also the produce, producer, right? the, the manufacturer. So I have to, to be able to share a better products for the producer to make, hmm. like in, in terms of the packaging, for example, hmm, yes. what kind of the material they can make, because we never use glue. Hmm. You don't the, use glue? I, we don't use glue for, so for the what? wrapping. Egg white? Locking system. Ah, yeah, the locking system. So the system. die oh, cut. Brilliant. So they they have to know what kind of the die cut uh, uh, they can use and what kind of material they can use recycled material. They they even can use like one color um, mm. printing. Yes. And it's still working. Yes. So it's this beautiful. can be an example for every uh, people out there uh, who want to create packaging. Mm -hmm. That how can they innovate like eco-friendly mm -hmm. kind of packaging yes. and the, for, for consumer itself we can educate them how to look for a better product mm. with a natural ingredients mm. and helping the environment at the same time mm. and helping themselves to live less waste yeah yes. i think that's I think, really important i think the trend now is more and more people especially the millennials and yeah. gen z are super aware of what they put in their body yes. what products they use and i think it's easier to educate them um, if they already know, uh, educate on how to read like the back labels, for example, right? Yes. And uh, when we see uh, your website, the Mibumi, we see a note at the end of the page that <laughs> you allocate some of your profit for education um, in terms of how to live sustainably uh, for uh, true education as well as workshops. Can you share more about that? Yeah. It's actually most of the profit to education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, um, so if you see our Instagram, it's mostly education. Mm. So you learn about, um, for example, menstrual pad. Mm. Like for one woman, how many ways yes. out of um, menstrual pad yes. during your period. So it's like one woman is 11,000 uh, plastic that you has or you you distribute to the river basically, yeah. yes. and uh, they don't have the the process further for the waste mm -hmm. of our single use men spread. That's why we have this um, washable oh, wow. pad, and it's like wearing underwear, uh -huh. like but it's waterproof, uh -huh. so people still be able to wash it and reuse it, and they ha they don't have to buy. It buy it again every month right right so i've been using this for four years i never buy single-use men's menstrual pad anymore yes. so i don't have like waste anymore mm. wow. for my own for those periods right time. yeah so i think that's a good thing for people to notice as well so those kind of educations are in our instagram and also we held a lot of free workshop mm -hmm. out there with uh can be funded by corporation or uh, communities or governments um, for everyone. Mm -hmm. Can be at the mall, can be in the kampung, ah, the village, yeah. can be at school. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for example, this beeswax food wrap. Mm, yes. So they can make their own beeswax food wrap, they can make uh, the tempe mm -hmm. without using plastic. <laughs> yes. um, and also helping the local farmer at the same time because yes. we use the uh, local soy, uh, nat uh, organic uh, local soy, soybean. And yes, also before the activation, we always have the education, mm. so like uh, the self, the self awareness mm. um, that they have to care about the environment yeah. and why. Yeah, I think why is the most important thing. Yes, Absolutely. what has been happening in the world if they never seen the, those news? Yeah, yeah, yeah regarding all the plastic the, waste, the plastic waste, and the global warming. Yeah. Yes. Because the news is not there if you don't look for it, right? Yes, <laughs> correct. So I have to educate about um, um, regarding how many years that we can live again, like mm -hmm. how many years that we can fight for it again, mm -hmm. which which only like seven years. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, so the yeah, you know that the uh, the crisis uh, has already happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have to every of us have to fight for it, and every of of us have to learn yes. how to 
how to live a better world basically. Absolutely. I actually think it's interesting that mm. your approach we talked earlier before that the way that you educate is not only to the consumers but you also educate to the producers and the way that you educate them is um, for the benefit of their life first and yes. then they will have the awareness to create yeah. a better product I for their consumers. Can you tell us more about that? As well? Yeah, I think most of us is consumer at the end. Mm. Yeah. We buy yes. and then we live waste. Yeah. Mm. So we have to be um, wise with our own waste at home. Mm. Yeah. If we can, um, for example, as basic as segregated our waste. Yeah. Not in every waste bin, so this is paper, this is plastic, this is uh, organic and you process it further. For example, organic, I have composter, I have biopore and for all the unorganic waste, I give it to the waste bank and I can turn it into money. <laughs> um, so if we educate them about that, they will notice that every waste is money. Mm. Mm. So if they, at the end, if they innovate a product and they create waste, mm. they they will look, they will look um, that all the material is worth it, right? Right. To get it back again. Yeah. So um, maybe they can have a Dropbox mm -hmm. or they can, um, I mean, uh, put uh, or they can work with waste management. Yes. Uh, I think it's really important for them to notice about that. Mm -hmm. And it started from their household, right? Mm -hmm. If they don't segregate their waste in, in their household, they also don't segregate the waste in their office or right. yeah. the manufacturer. That's the thing, right? And you've been implementing zero waste household, right? which is which is totally amazing mm. because I've been trying to do that. And like, for example... It takes time. Yes, it takes time. It takes time to change that, yes. to actually build yeah. that new habit, right? Um, for example, segregating waste. I'm so bad at it, Jessica. I, I tried, but then it, I thought, you know, I segregate it now, and then uh, and the guys will... Give, you yeah. give it to the yeah. waste guy. Waste guys. And it then goes to just, the landfill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it goes to the landfill. So it's like, for me, I feel like, what's the point, What's the point, right? yeah. And then also, also, I tried composting, right? Yeah. I tried it with the liquid and all. It failed miserably. Yeah. And I and when it failed, I was like... I didn't have oh, time for it. Yeah, exactly. right? <laughs> it takes like so much effort. Yeah, it but happens to everyone. It's bad. I mean, it's like we have to somehow just try to build this good yeah. habit, right? So give us some tips. Give us some... Okay. Yeah. I live with my father-in-law and my sister-in-law. So mm. it's hard. Right. Because, um, you, you know, like every people has their own character. Correct. And every people has their own habit to consume things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Maybe I don't consume online, but other people in the house like to consume online. So we have to have a right system. Yeah. So in uh, my house, my father-in-law house, <laughs> I live in, with him, <laughs> I have like a system for the bin. I noted the bin. So I have five different bins wow. in front of the dining table. Right. So that's the center of the waste, right? Right. So it has to from, from the start. Yeah. So. Uh, I know that like this is for paper, this is for plastic, this is for e-waste, this is for organic, this is for mass, medical mass. Right. Um, and the other one is for another type of plastic, uh, or and also for the glass and can. Yes. Yeah. By giving a note for that, uh, most of the people in the house, including the guests, when they come, mm. when they have waste, they will look into it. Mm. 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 So they will follow the system. Right. I think that's the most important Creating thing. Creating system, that's mm. one. Yes. Okay. And then the next thing, you have to have a space to pull them up, right? Right. Mm. Otherwise, your bin is so small, <laughs> it, <laughs> it won't um, yeah, fill them up, right? Yes. <laughs> so you have uh, room for it to um, yeah, compile everything together. So after it's uh, a lot, then you give it to the waste bank. So uh, Which when waste I, bank are you? So I give it to the Setiabudi one. It's the okay, Bang Sampah Gesit. Okay, it's Bang, Bang Sampah Sampa Induk. Gesit. Bang Sampah Induk. Yeah. yeah you have that. to look for Bang Sampah Induk because right. Bang Sampah Induk has the most of the waste. Okay. So I learned a lot from them ah. because from the receipt, I can see like all the material are listed there. Mm. Yeah. Even even for paper, yeah, they listed that this is brown paper, this is white base paper, mm. this is cement paper. Mm. And if I'm lazy enough, yeah. I pull it all together, yes. including the newspaper and magazine and calendar. Yeah. They will sort it out. Right. So the price is less. Right. Uh -huh. But 
incentive. They're, they're always priced for it because right. they will recycle it. They yes. will give it to the recycle company. You mean when, when there's price, I mean, do you get vouchers or do you actually get cash? It's a bang. So it's cash? Yes. You're giving cash? It's a bang. Motivation? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's why it's called waste bank. It's a bang. So you have a buku tabungan, you have a, uh, a, a saving, saving yeah. account yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can withdraw money. Every time oh you my, want, my, my. how often do you actually go to the waste bank? Waste bank um, yeah. so She's thinking the, about the system at home, right? Yeah, at the start, uh, I started in 2019 when the Mibumi was started, right? Um, I, I went there every, mo every month, yeah, okay. because I still, a lot of, I still have a lot of waste. So you have to go and take your waste there? Yes. Okay, fine. Um, fine, that's okay. A little yeah. bit of effort, but fine. Yeah. Yeah. So you can pull everything together, including mm. yeah, your mom's waist <laughs> and your friend's waist. And oh, your money goes right. to you. <laughs> but yes, uh, but now after a while, um, because I already reduced my waist at home, mm. I go there every four months. Mm. So I pull it all together in one car until everything is piling up and give it to the waste bank and then they will weigh it by the category of it. Mm. So paper, plastic, glass. Mm. And awesome. we help them by always clean our waste. So mm. the, the way that the system will work is the recycle company won't recycle if we don't clean it. Mm. Because it, it's not the raw material again if mm. there is a, a remain organic waste. Yes. For example, sachet. Yeah. A uh, lot of sachet has organic waste mm. remain residues, right? Yes. So you have to wash it and then treat every of the waste like your plates. Mm. So Basically, yeah, you clean it. Yeah, yeah, you clean it and then you drain it just like plates. Yeah. And then after it's clean, you, you segregate it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay, well that's cool. And when, when the motivation mm. sort of like goes a little bit loose, <laughs> it's like what, what's, what would be your tip? Like a little bit kendor, as we would say. Yeah, I think it's it's good for us to follow uh, motivators. Um, right. Like a lot of Instagrams out there um, are very uh, inspiring. Like I follow like Zero Waste Chef. Nice. Are, uh, you can follow Demi Bumi. You can follow Sustaination. You can follow uh, Zero Waste mm. They are sending you a lot of tips. Mm. So by the time that you wake up, at least. Yeah. You've been educated with all those good stuff. Yes. And also you don't feel alone, right? You feel like there's also other yes. people that's doing it. So it feels Although like you are alone in a house. Exactly. <laughs> but right now, I think nowadays with digital, you feel that you're yeah. connected with people in other parts of the yes, world. Yes, yes, yes. Based on the things that you're interested yeah. in. Yeah. Actually, that's also my question. I think uh, you've also showcased your lifestyle and your own personal Instagram. You, you have quite yes. a following yeah. as well. Uh, how And you have education, workshop as well. How has been the public response so far to, to your lifestyle as well as your education? Mm. Mm. It's very good for my own good as well. <laughs> because, <laughs> because at the end, I learned a lot. I mm. think that's the, uh, the most of it because I learned a lot. That's why I can create this good, better products mm. um, because innovation comes from what you need as well, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. can mirror with your own household, what do you need? Mm, yeah. You need, you don't need like shampoo bottle anymore. So you create shampoo bar, yeah. and conditioner bar, soap bars. Yeah. And because um, I, I've, I've experienced living um, in the tribes. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I last time Kalimantan. I stayed for five days in Kalimantan, mm -hmm. in Suku Dayak Iban. I, I learned a lot from the tribes. Really? Um, I, learn I visit Badui, I learn a lot from Badui. Mm. Like in, in uh, Sukudaya, for example, when I uh, go to the river, um, mm. take a bath in the river, I only use leaf for soap there. Mm. And that it's leaf? called uh, Jambu Tangkalak leaf. Jambu Tangkalak. And that's a natural soap there. Mm. And they, they use it for cleaning everything, including their body, uh, shampoo, and also like dishes. Mm. So Indonesia has a lot of natural soap. Mm. So for example, soap nut from Java and Sumatra and in Kalimantan, this jambu tangkalak and also daun aras. This is the, this is the one that um, you actually have here, no? Yeah, so this, this, uh, this shampoo bar yeah. is made from minyak tangkawang. Mm. Um, so it's called Borneo Talanat, mm. Borneo, Kalimantan. Mm. It's only in Kalimantan. Mm. So 
Borneo talonat or people usually call, in cosmetic world they call it ilipe butter is very famous in Europe and most of Borneo talonat goes to Europe. Wow. And we never been educated, we never we never know about it. Yeah. So I knew about it when I stayed there because yeah. minyak tangkawang is very famous there. Yeah. They use it for their green butter. They mm. they they cook with minyak tangkawang. Wow. They also Uh, make their own lip balm from minyak tangkawang. So they use it for their own cosmetic and also Amazing. candle. So, um, and oil. <laughs> yeah. So this is like the oil for all. <laughs> so yeah. this uh, minyak tangkawang is very good. And um, I've been using first uh, me and my partner Juliana before we produce it. Mm. And we love it because this uh, shampoo matches to all kind type of hair. Oh, wow. so, okay. Well, Even I, in my house, um, I have different type of hair uh, with my kids and also my husband, right? Yes. Still okay. Hmm. So that's the hard yeah. things to find, right? Yes, it, it is. Yeah, it's like, like it's shampoo like that magic, matches all, for all people. Yeah. Exactly, it's like a magic formula. Oh, wow. And this is all natural. Even yes. if it goes un, and and this into is your plas- drain, it's uh, fine. This is not plastic. This is singkong. Oh, yes. This is cassava mm. plastic. Cassava plastic. So this is kind of things that we also introduce people uh-huh. who produce shampoo bar or produce like soap bar. They can use this cassava plastic mm-hmm. instead of plastic because a right. lot of sh- um, like soap bar they use plastic wrap, yep. right? Yes, so they I do. think this is the local innovation that yes. we also can imply to our products. Hey Jessica, have mm. you ever thought of approaching like? these huge corporations, especially those who are um, producing FMCGs, right? To change. Use, yeah, to change and use more like environmentally friendly That's what packaging. I did before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in, in the old days, no, it's not in the old days. Before I uh, invent uh, the Mi Booming with my friends, yes. I noticed that every time I Uh, advice to the manufacturers or the clients why don't you produce shampoo bar because I I have I have a lot of cosmetic clients as well before and I already told them you have these big manufacturers so you will be able to do this and you have those kind of money but yeah they just don't care so the, is the mindset is not there if is the, the mindset is not there they won't produce it But is it because they're afraid that, hey, you know, it's like I have to maintain the quality of my product. So I'm not sure that these degradable packagings are going to maintain the quality of my product. Yes. Right? Because they are afraid. Right. Mm. And because they never try it for themselves. Mm. If they never try it for themselves like I do, Mm. they don't know Mm -hmm. that this will last for how long. Mm. Mm. and how many quantities that you have to produce mm. before going to the market, mm. right? I know that the plastic uh, replacement is hard mm. because, for example, this cassava plastic is not as vacuum as the conventional plastic. Mm, right. So in locally in Indonesia, we have seaweed plastic, mm. we, have, we have cassava plastic. Yeah. But I already tried for so far, um, the, the, the good one is the cassava because yes. It lasts a better uh, time compared yeah. to, to the seaweed because yes. seaweed is more food, yes. yeah. yeah. So yes. it's, it's it's harder to maintain when it goes to the shops. Yes. Right. Uh, it will, yeah. It smells so good. But what about cost-wise? Because you know these companies will of always course the cost boil it down. Yeah, to like, of course cost. the cost-wise <laughs> is five times than conventional plastic. But then, right. if you want to have a better environment yes you have to invest a better money for it yeah yes. and you have to lose profit out of it mm-hmm. so, a little bit or a lot yeah quite a lot mm-hmm. but that's why uh, most of the people don't want to go this kind of product because the profit is not as much as they use like conventional products right. but we have to do that yeah mm-hmm. otherwise yeah Nobody helps our children. Exactly. Do you think that it's easier than to educate the ready community or the ready consumers um, so then that the demand for those yes, products I think in FMCG is actually going to Yeah, that's the economic decrease. system, right? Mm-hmm. If the demands are there, yeah. the price will go, will go mm-hmm. lower. That's what we are intended to do. Like, that's why we force us to 
still use this kind of material because we want the demand to be there. Yeah. If nobody yeah. doing this, yes. the demand is not there. Nobody has an example mm -hmm. of doing it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So I think it's really amazing how we as an individual can be empowered to actually change mm -hmm. the world by changing our own habit at home. And it's amazing to see like small businesses like yours to advocate for this and to amplify the importance of taking care of the environment. Yeah. It's amazing to see. And I know Marissa is such a big fan. <laughs> I am. I'm already like, hmm, I'm going to go to their website and start shopping. Oh, and by the way, Mbak Mar, yes. she is actually like a walking marketing because she's been using all the shampoo <laughs> and the soap for four years. <laughs> and I don't her. smell and I look and good, I, right? You look fantastic. Exactly. You look healthy. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Jessica Halim, for sharing and success with Dumi Bumi. And hopefully more and more people will actually uh, adopt uh, this new lifestyle, which is a more sustainable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we got to take care of the earth and we got to make the changes. And by integrating it to our habit, our daily habit.